welcome to our vlog. I don't know. I this video isn't really planned. It's very spontaneous. <laughs> no, like seriously. Yeah, like, I know. I is. don't actually know what we're gonna talk about. I haven't planned anything, but the year is coming to an end, and I feel very reflective. Me too. Like but I feel like at the end of the year, I really start thinking about everything in my life. Yeah, like I'm ready to change up some old habits, you know, and just like look forward to new possibilities and new and things. new years oh my god i'm so excited for new year i'm so excited for new years too <laughs> so the point of this video was i don't know kind of to capture our reflection honestly okay two lessons each that we've learned in this year like really big lessons that just kind of made you look at certain things in your life in a different way i wouldn't exactly say like there's a specific story behind this lesson but one thing that i've learned is like the way your life is is completely in your hands like yeah a lot of the time we're just like oh it's not actually that it's based on the environment that you're put in and the circumstances that you're put in but like no if there's a will there's always a way like the world is yeah. literally your playground um so i'm going in with that mindset that's I saw thing. you write that in your notes. Yeah, so I have some things written out. down on my notes, actually. Yeah. And do you have a reason, like, why? Like, what made you think in that way? I feel like I wasn't doing enough, and then I realized the only person to blame for that was myself. Wow, it's know? about time you had that realization. Wow. It's not that, like, yeah. I completely before was just, like, negative and blaming yeah. everything on the environment. It's just that I need to remember that everything is like limitless like yeah. i literally got to remember that and like stop limiting myself in any way or form just because of the circumstances yeah. of life i know? feel like something that you did was you waited a lot for things and actually not just you this is something i did a lot as well i feel like i really wanted to change things in my life but i kept waiting for other things to change yeah. and then i'm like okay once this happens then i'm going to change or once this happens then i'm going to do this but it's like like that was stopping me from actually just making the move and just doing something my own i think the biggest lesson that i learned this year has definitely got to be like putting myself out there more like yeah. i i was so negative about like life here because i mean dubai wasn't like my first choice and i just i really closed myself off and i got stuck sort of and i feel like it was a process in general like to adjust like it was part of the process i had to go through like a little bit of a oh i kind of hate life phase to actually start loving life but it wasn't until like i put myself in an uncomfortable situation met new people realized oh shit there's actually so many possibilities like you said the world is limitless there's so much opportunity why am i like limiting myself i feel like this kind of relates to my second point as well um i feel like this year one thing that happened was my self-esteem like really shattered and it was all because of myself and i realized that like yeah sure it's a very cliche thing to say don't compare yourself to others or like self-love or blah 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 but this year i really realized just to what extent it really is important like mm -hmm. it's so damn important to have that and i feel like i really had to in that sense hit rock bottom before being able to like come up and above it again yeah. and it feels great that's why i feel like this year is ending on a high note because i've already come to this mm. conclusion and i'm so ready for 2023 that's the thing like i feel like the year started on a really high note for me because right off the bat we had an amazing new year's last year yeah. well this year mm -hmm. start of this year and then right after that i went to turkey i traveled like my year peaked at the beginning of the year so I started on a really high note and then it kind of went downhill from there and that's when I kind of went through a lot of like other problems it was a lot of things like externally it was a lot of things internally I feel like this year for me was very um it was a bit of a roller coaster in terms of mental health like yeah. I feel like I really had a bit of a I don't know yeah but for the people that thought that my confidence was already high before to begin with, y'all better watch out because now it's through the roof. I am so happy to hear that though. I know, me too. So critical about I'm I'm the yeah. biggest judge of myself. Like, and there's I think no we one. All are. We all, we all that's exactly. Why learning to love yourself but that's why so I'm enjoying doing this because I know it's relatable yeah. and we're all human after all. But, like, at least I'm happy to know that I felt that phase, which is completely normal, but I, I'm strong enough to bring myself out of it. And that's what everyone needs to remind yourself another thing that i learned this year that was really important was i wanted to learn to do things and enjoy things on my own oh, yeah. and i really really like i've been trying to do this for the past two years but i think it was it wasn't until this year that i realized like wow i have learned to love my own company like i love doing things on my own i don't depend on people anymore if i want to go see something if my friends bail at the last minute i really could not care less like i'm still gonna go i'm still gonna have my plan i'm still gonna do my thing like i don't feel dependent on others to have a good time 
time and I just, I like my me time. I feel like I'm learning this now and this is the, I thought you were going to ask me a question. Okay, what traits do I want to take into next year? Okay. So I was going to answer the same thing yeah. that like now I realize that being alone yeah. doesn't make you lonely and shout out Emma Chamberlain. Um, yeah. <laughs> Like, she's one person that made me realize that. Yeah. And I'm just so comfortable with my own energy. Um, I There's can't... such a big difference with being alone and being lonely. Exactly. Yeah. So I can't wait to expand on that next Even though week, I did yeah. have a bit of loneliness, too. But sure. then it's Yeah, like, into... I'm excited to spend yeah. time with everyone else. But I'm excited to spend time with myself, you yeah. know. Do we change the angle of the shot or something? I don't know, because the view is so the nice. The view is beautiful. And I really want you guys to see this view. Setting. The view is We're insane. Just... I would love to see a bird right now. Wow. Did you know that birds can fly for, was it three months? I forgot the fact that oh, I wanted yeah. to Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Apparently, birds can fly for like three months at Without a time. Without stopping at all. Or something, yeah. Okay, what I wanted to do is I wanted to kind of talk about like what we're leaving behind this year. Like things I don't want to take with me. Also, you're really having fun looking taller than me right now, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah. I'm not sure that. I promise. I don't even know. Wow, the know. birds and everything. <sighs> I want to take a moment to just appreciate how this is literally one of the last sunsets of the year and I am so glad we're experiencing this right now. Oh, one thing that I want to leave behind is a mm. bit of a small one, but just like excessive screen time sometimes. Oh, or yeah. like additional like lazy mornings and I'm kind of like, oh, it's okay to yeah. be lazy this morning. Like, no, I want to just be more yeah. in grind mode, you know? Yeah. Uh, what I want to leave behind is procrastination. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, like as I much of a hustler like as I am, like as much of a hustler as I am, and like no matter how much work and shit that I do, I procrastinate quite a lot. And that is something that I've noticed. And I'm not even just talking about with work, like even with videos, like I'll do a tiny task and then I'll give myself a break for no reason. And I'll sit on my phone or like watch something. And I don't want to do that anymore. I just want to like be on my grind. I feel like I'm, I ghost a bit too much, you know? And like, um, no, really. like. <laughs> Sometimes it stops me from building like contacts or I might literally meet someone cool and then they text me later and I just don't get back to them. I don't know for what reason. So it's like, why not just expand on that? And that kind of goes hand in hand with me like more ne networking this year. Yeah. So it's just a bad habit that I have. I don't know what it is. Maybe laziness that kicks in or like... It is a of lot of interest effort to take or something. Back, I know. It really is. I know. Like obviously I'm still going to ghost, yeah. but not to the extent that I do now. Like it's a lot. Yeah. It's really bad. It's been bad for like the last 3 years, you know. Let's talk about like our big goals. So, one of my biggest goals and this is something that I really want to take with me into 2023. I need a car and i need a license like this is one of my more um tangible sort of manifestations like i need a car and a license i am so sick of not having a car i'm so sick of public transport and it's not even like i can't drive guys i promise i can drive i'm a great driver i just can't get a license because i pay for my own shit and getting a license is like so mad expensive over here especially when you've got other things to pay for so my goal going into 2023 is to make a shit ton of money get myself a license get myself a car like it is time to make money moves. You know, that is how I'm feeling going into 2023. Possibilities, opportunities, money moves. Yeah. Kind of. I feel like I've never properly manifested money before in my life. Like I've never really been someone to, like everyone wants money, but I've never given it that much of importance to the point where I'm like, no, I really need to like earn a shit ton of money. But this year I'm really feeling that more and I'm feeling like I need to, kind of stop being a perfectionist about everything and stop overthinking oh my god what i'm leaving behind overthinking and being a self-critic because i criticize my I i'm like such a perfectionist entirely leave that no you behind. can't leave it behind entirely I like but you, it's... i feel like when i said that you're your biggest judge you know and like being a self-critic or whatnot and how that literally like gets way too into my head i feel like it's kind of that as well for me it's more creatively i feel like mm. with you your self-critic was more about self-esteem yeah my self-critic is more about my work it is so hard for me to get videos up to be consistent like oh my god the way i'm probably go like i'm gonna get shot on in the comments if anyone watches this because i started this year saying i want to be consistent and i didn't upload anything okay, this year okay. you have next year to be consistent. 2023 the year of being consistent yes. the year of making money the year of driving a car finally having a car <laughs> that is what we're manifesting how i would envision it is that the day i get my car i want to have my towel a little basket with like little like snacks and my togs because i just want to be beach ready all the time 
Like when I have my car, my trunk is gonna be filled with my beach stuff, my beach bag 24 seven. So that no matter where I am, no matter what I'm doing, I can just take a trip to the beach, read a book, just, you know, yeah, that is something that I really want a car for. Spontaneous beach trips and no more catching. I know, the I've heard you speak about this a hundred <laughs> yeah. times, son, like not even. Hello, like, oh, this is wow, for the viewers. <laughs> you know, like I'm sick of hearing it and I'm praying just as much as you're praying that you freaking yeah, get a car. When I get a car, you yeah, I know, I'm gonna cruise around too. with you. But um Oh and like listening to music and cruising is like my favorite thing to do and I have been missing that so much. I feel like I've always been kind of manifesting money like like heaps of money but i feel like that's not what my entire year this year is focused around like definitely being more established and independent and moving out and all of that goes hand in hand but i mostly want to along with that um there's travel and like experiences oh, yeah. and meeting new people all around the world and just like getting a taste of all of these different cultures yeah. which um some people might be surprised that we even want considering we are pretty diverse already and have met a shit ton of cool diverse yeah. people but I actually want to be able like to travel and yeah. like go in depth in every culture because yeah. I feel like that's beautiful so yeah. more memory making people meeting and whatnot you know anyway so that is it for this video and I just want to say I hope you guys had a great year I hope this video gets other people thinking about what they want to do because yeah. one of my favorite parts about new years is the new resolution you know? yeah self-growth no I think it's definitely important to reflect on your life and bro on, this view is yeah. actually insane I can't even pay attention no this the camera doesn't do it does that it never does but like look at that look at that wow the the I think by the time you guys see this, it's probably going to be New Year's. Yeah. So I hope you guys had a wonderful 2022. And, and I, I hope, hope you guys New have Year's a better 2023. As fun as our New Year's is And I hope be. to see you guys more often because I'm really going to try to be consistent this year. Happy New Year! Happy New Year's. Okay, bye. <laughs>